Hello, welcome to a new video of the course. In this video we are going to add a new panel with a new type of chart. In this case, I have selected the table type so that you can see the difference between a normal bar graph and one that is oriented to text type, because also, in our monitoring, we will surely want to find, at times, text type information to see some specific data more clearly. Well, adding a panel is very simple. I go up here, to the dashboard, click on Add and select, New Visualization. This takes me to the Edit Panel window. I can verify that the message, Data is Missing a Number field, appears again, because by default it selects a time series type graph. It is necessary to indicate again that the Sales field is numerical. Therefore, I have to change the type on every bread I create. I move down and in this field I indicate that the Sales column is of type number. You see that, since by default the graph is of time series type, it is still not displayed, because time series type graphs need a time type field. On the right side, in the list of chart types I am going to select a table type chart. After changing the type, the month and sales fields appear in table mode. So, let's change some properties. As I mentioned, the properties of each type of graph are different. There are some properties that are common, things like thresholds, title and other things, but there are also many properties that vary. Let's change some of the properties of this table. First of all, the title. I'm going to title it, for example, sales by month. When I leave the field, the title is changed automatically. If I scroll down, with show table header, I can show or hide the header of this field, month and sales. Here I can decide whether the width of the cell is going to be small, which is what we find by default, or medium or large. This depends on the type of chart you want to use. Here is a very interesting option, which is enable pagination, which allows me to paginate here. Instead of having a scroll bar, it allows me to page the values. I'm going to remove it, because I prefer a scroll bar at this moment. Another interesting property that we can is the alignment of the column. I can let it be automatic for each field or I can decide that Tihei are all on the left, centered or on the right. I'm going to leave it on automatic so that Grafana automatically sets each field type to a certain alignment. Another very interesting option is enable disable fields filters in table. If I mark it, two small icons appear in the column header that help me filter the data. So, I can click here and filter by value. For example, I only want to show the values for February. Or here, if I select this filtering, I also have the possibility to filter the columna sales by certain values. Very similar to what we do, for example, in Excel. I'm going to leave it like this because I want it to show up when I return to the dashboard. We also have the property Show Table Footer. The table footer allows us to put a footer to this table. Additionally, you can add a calculation, it is possible to show an aggregation value, for example the total. I can, in addition to the total, show the maximum or minimum value or some other value that I am interested in reflecting in the footer of the table. The most common value that I want to enter is the total, for example to know the total sales of my company. In addition, I can specify which fields I want to calculate. In this case there is not much option because we only have a number field, sales. I think that, in this case, the best for you is to have a look at the documentation and do all the tests you can, because the best way to know it is to do plenty of practices, including those that I am proposing to you during the course. Okay, so, as always, I'm going to save the graph and it'll let me know that the changes have been made. I return to the main dashboard and I can see that I have two panels. As always, I can modify this the size and position. As you can see, I can modify this so that they stay, for example, next to each other. I can filter, for example, if I only want to see April and August, I mark the corresponding values and press the OK button. I can remove the filter with this option, Clear Filters. If I click on a field, for example, Sales, it allows me to sort the data. That is, in this case it is ascending, from lowest to highest or, if I click here, descending, from highest to lowest. If I click on the arrow again, it will be removed and will return to its original value. This was all about how to add a panel and how to modify a new chart type. See you in the next video.